Hey gang, it's your boy Plant. Today I show you how to make hot fudge cream liqueur. So let's go. <laughs> Recently, I'd made some salted caramel cream liqueur. Well, of course, while I'm down the dessert aisle looking for uh, salted caramel, I decided to grab a little bit of hot fudge. I thought, well, you know, let's kind of continue on that theme and, uh, you know, make some hot fudge cream liqueur. Now, in the past, I have done some chocolate liqueurs before. I did a mint chocolate liqueur and a chocolate peanut butter uh, liqueur. So you might be thinking, well, how's this any different, you know, or, or you know, why are you, you know, why don't you just use chocolate or whatever? Well, there technically is a difference between chocolate syrup and hot fudge. Uh, hot fudge tends to be a little more viscous, a little thicker than just regular chocolate syrup you drizzle, drizzle on your ice cream. Also, hot fudge uh, uses bittersweet chocolate, unlike uh, chocolate syrup that uses a unsweetened uh, cocoa powder. Uh, hot fudge or hot fudge or fudge tends to have vanilla in it where there's no vanilla in uh, chocolate syrup and just fudge itself just has a more intense flavor um, you know kind of the difference between like a regular chocolate cookie and then like a piece of fudge or even a fudge brownie you know just more intense um, again a little denser flavor also a, you know a denser body uh, than just regular chocolate. So I thought this would be kind of fun. Again, kind of going with the dessert theme on this. So um, I, I picked up some fudge for this. Real quick, what are we going to need to make our uh, hot fudge cream liqueur? Well, first, obviously, some uh, hot fudge. You, again, you can find this any grocery store around. Uh, next is uh, half and half. I really liked how that came out in the salted caramel, so I thought I'd stick with that. And a little bit of cane sugar. Again, we're you know we know the flavor we want, so I wouldn't necessarily play around with the sugar. Uh, regular cane sugar is fine. I guess if you want to use brown sugar or something different like that, go ahead. But again, no need to really play around with that. And of course, our spirit of choice is we're going with vodka. Um, I'm shooting for that 40% or 40 proof uh, range. Again, a little more shooter kind of friendly. Uh, we're not trying to get anybody too wrecked on this stuff. Um, more again, the liqueur range instead of a higher ABV, 80 proof type spirit. You can switch and use Everclear if you want to ramp up the ABV. Feel free for that. Um, flavor wise, I guess you could throw in like a whipped cream flavored vodka to, you know, add that little bit of creaminess or if you like vanilla, maybe a vanilla vodka. But again, I'm going just with a straight vodka. So now that we've got everything to make our hot fudge cream liqueur, let's make some hot fudge cream liqueur. All right, so we're ready to make our hot fudge cream liqueur. We're going to stick with the same ratios we had on our salted uh, caramel cream liqueur. Um, really like how it came out. Also, too, I want to kind of explain that real quick. So I have one and a quarter cup of uh, half and half, and then we'll use three quarters of a cup of the hot fudge sauce, and then we're going to throw in a half a cup of the sugar. But the sugar is going to blend in with the cream, so we're not really gaining any volume. So total volume of our flavor base is going to be two cups, and then we add two cups of vodka. We're going to have with one quart of our finished product and remember we have an 80 proof vodka but we're going to be doubling our volume now so the finished product will come out 40 proof just nice round numbers and that's why I kind of do it like that you could tweak whatever if you want this thing creamier you can add more cream or go with a heavy cream if you want more fudge more fudge if you want more alcohol or whatever I just do this for nice round numbers again we're going to get to 40 proof we're going to have one quart just simplicity's sake. So let's get going. I'm going to put our one and a quarter cups of cream in a saucepan. We're going to do just like we did before. Bring it to a, a light simmer. Uh, we're not wanting to reduce or anything like that or bring to a boil. We just want to heat this up enough to help again blend in these other ingredients. Uh, let the sugar 
melt in give it a nice stir uh, these little cans of uh, it's a Smucker's hot fudge I have they're roughly 12 ounces three quarters of a cup is six ounces so about half the container This all stirred in here. And one great thing about getting this base down, you know companies like Smuckers and some of these other companies are going to invent new flavors. So uh, they're kind of doing the R&D for us. You know, we get this base down and Smuckers, you come up with something different, uh, send me a jar, I'll, I'll, make, I'll turn it into booze. Our fudge. Oh my god, Parmy just wants to take the spoon and just start eating it. Yeah, this stuff is pretty thick. We're definitely going to need to stir this uh, for a while. That's another reason why I'm going with a little more cream. Uh, it's not equal parts cream and fudge, it's a little more cream than fudge just because this is so thick that uh, you know, we're going to need a little extra liquid to kind of get this to blend in. So I'm going to keep, like I said, this on low simmer. I'm going to keep stirring until I get everything thoroughly integrated. This may take a few minutes, so we'll come back. I'll let this cool down. We'll come back and... Uh, Add our vodka and uh, give her a try. All right, gang, the moment's truth here. Uh, time to give her a try. I went ahead and cooled our uh, hot fudge mixture. Then I added two cups of vodka. So we've ended up with one quart of finished product that's roughly 40 proof. Uh, real quick to run over the recipe. One and a quarter cup of half and half, half a cup of granulated sugar, three quarters of a cup or six ounces of our hot fudge sauce topping whatever uh, term you want to use and then like I said when we, we combined everything uh, put the cream on simmer combined everything let it cool and then added the two cups of vodka so uh, that's the recipe these are nice simple recipes that I do uh, again if the fine folks at Smuckers or anybody else comes up with some new topping send it to me because I'll turn them into a liqueur all right, uh, oh, one last little thing real quick. The fudge was a little thicker than I thought, and I had to stir for a little bit longer. So be prepared to put in a little work with the fudge. But again, that's kind of what we wanted. We wanted some thicker, a little more intense flavor and everything. So just a little word on that. So let's give it a try. Oh, man, that's good. Uh, definitely more intense uh, flavor than just a regular chocolate syrup. This doesn't taste like a, a glorified chocolate milk. Uh, yeah, just different, uh, more intense chocolate flavor to it. Really good. Um, again, this would be gr something great to make in an adult milkshake. Uh, I know that's kind of a popular thing and that's something I've done videos on. Um, Maybe, uh, you know, maybe this is something I could throw into if I want to make, uh, you know, a uh, alcohol-infused ice cream. Uh, would definitely be something worth trying for, too. Um, you could even, I guess you wanted to use heavy whipping cream, you could probably turn this into some kind of alcoholic whip topping, which would be really kind of cool. Maybe something we might have to try for another time. Well, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please subscribe down below. Also, please like the video because it lets YouTube know we're putting out good content. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or video ideas, please leave them in the comment section, or you can always contact me on the Twitter page. Till next time, bottoms up.